Greetings, this is Suzanne Titkemeyer with No Longer Quivering. I'm sitting here kind of in shock right now with my giant, enormous mug of decaf latte. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm really in shock. Somebody sent me earlier, they sent me screen caps of some allegations going on at Stephen Anderson's church at Faithful Word Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. It's a fundamentalist type church. It's the part of the, actually the, uh, where they started with the new independent fundamentalist Baptist, which apparently Stephen Anderson has now describes himself as a Pope of. He's the leader of it. And they're a break off of the independent fundamentalist Baptist who are already very, very strict. What's happened is it's come out that some of his sons, one of them is over 18, some that are under 18 are involved in a, um, I don't know how to say this except to say a very nasty chat with a bunch of girls. A 500 page long chat where it looked like they were doing some grooming of the girls and there was a lot of discussion of violent sex. There was discussion of choking, hookers, using the church money to buy said hookers as long as you witness to them first. I'm just kind of in shock. It all came about because one of the the fathers involved is not keeping his mouth shut. Anderson is trying to keep this as a sort of underground thing, saying he dealt with it, which we know what that means. That means he likely wailed the hell out of those boys. And that it's dealt with and everyone should shut up. Apparently he's kicked as many as a dozen families from the fellowship kick them out completely because their daughters were the ones that were making the allegations. So this is some pretty awful victim blaming going on. I am hoping that CPS in Tempe or their uh, law enforcement gets involved because whenever you have someone 18 or older involved with grooming young girls for sexual behaviors, it's against the law. I don't care if it is Solomon Anderson. It's against the law. Somebody needs to investigate this. I'm really shocked. I mean, I thought for sure it would be Stephen involved in something or some type of money or sex thing, some kind of very squishy thing going on that would get Anderson taken down. I never dreamed it would be his own kids because God knows both he and Susanna have said through the years that by extreme isolation of their children, they are protecting them from everything. Well, it didn't protect them from porn and from other things, apparently. So uh, I'm just kind of sitting back in shock here this afternoon. I want to see which way this goes. I am extremely concerned for Miriam and the other little girls in the household. They're in the household with sexual predators. Think about that one for a minute. Even if their own mother and father are not sexual predators, they're in the household with brothers who've been proven that they are predators, apparently. Um, Josh Duggar 2.0. What can you say? Anyway, I have to go now, but I, like I said, I'm just going to be puzzling over this for the rest of the night and looking to see what else comes out. Um, I hope it's all exposed. This is the sort of thing that takes down churches. This should take down churches because this is this is a crime.